Hello everyone and welcome back to another Thursday of Vox Edit. Here we are, 7pm GMT UTC, as always, ready to create some stuff. Now, I do think my mic might be a little bit too loud and the music may be a little bit too loud, so let's, let's turn that down. How's that sound for everyone? Hopefully that's all right. So we have been working on a few things. Let me just show you this. We got this sorted. So we've got uh, just idle. So we've just got this positioned like that. And then we do have an animation. So let's check out the animation first. Let's get into this. So I'm going to show you the animation I've created off stream. So our hand goes up. We're doing stuff grab the ladybug throw it in and another ladybug comes here which will then allow it to loop real nicely so when you are making animation so i'm gonna have to turn this the music's meant to just be like quiet in my ear kind of noise but it's it's being quite a bit louder than it usually is in my ear um but yes yeah, so when you are creating animations it's best to have the end animation be the same as where you start so if it's looping it naturally loops rather than going from like this let's just say like yeah you throw it in there so going like that with a ladybird on the side straight back to that because then it's too too jumpy so your best bet is always have the end animation the same as your start and a way that I found to do this is to get like most of it, like what you intend to be doing to a certain point and then move this to about a second and a half across and then click copy all of these and paste them over here and then take like the last uh point that they were at and put it about there and then figure out like certain movements you might want um so yeah that that should do it we've also got a little ladybird let me go into detail so you throw that in and once that one's thrown in the second one sort of comes out at the side and comes to stand up there we've also got a few little things going on inside here so we do have look we've got like a green bit that just kind of comes up and goes back down we've got another green bit that comes up two yellows and another green over here that comes up and bobs back down and then we have our fantasy good witch where she's just stirring she throws i say good witch she has thrown the the weird bug into there um but yeah we're we're moving this about i think 
maybe we might need to change this just a little bit because we have our hands stopped there and that still comes up so that goes back to its finishing position right there so if i put that yeah and then this arm so it needs to finish there yeah okay that's fine so we've got that that goes yeah we we bring it back up okay so t slight little tweaks right there but yeah that's our large cauldron which thing that we've got done so we're going to save that what i do intend to do oh and we have just the the witch as well she's gonna have a staff i've got to sort this i'm gonna do that off stream have her totally finished but what we are doing today is we're going to do another person and i'm gonna do a quick or oh, hopefully this is an hour so usually with an hour we can recolor and create someone new now what we will be doing to this is i will need to unlock the template because i do intend on uh making it a little bit different good morning hey morning to you it is most definitely not morning happy time zone to absolutely everybody wherever you are uh we want it to be i'm gonna call it tavern peeps regardless of whether it's a tavern person right and in fact instead of unlocking it there's a good chance i will still have to unlock it do you know what we will we will unlock it so i'll talk you really quickly through the unlocking process so i'm just gonna come out of that make it easier and what we do is we go to where our vox edit file is we go to vox edit and we find the correct folder and i'm going to make a copy and oh i want to also rename that to um unlocked so i know and i'm gonna click it and i need to scroll down until i find the vxr file now you will need notepad plus plus completely free to download from chrome is uh in Vox edit are there a lot of character templates right there's a couple um i want to say a lot but there's a couple so what i'm going to do is i'm going to unlock this so to unlock it i just open up that file and it opens up on notepad plus plus go to where it says avatar version 2 take that out and save it and then when we go here because it's for that one unlocked when we open it we now can play about with all of this we can move all of these about um which we can't do in the other version but let me show you some of the templates i will be doing a whole series about the templates as well so stay tuned for that so we've got the avatar we can just do avatar head which would be like a hell um no it would be yeah like a, a different avatar head torso legs feet that's like if you want like bespoke piece is a headpiece so like a hat helmet whatever a chest piece so like armor type stuff arm pieces once again like armor leg pieces armor blades is like your your weaponry shields shields small humans so if you're making a a, a small child a dwarf uh pretty much anything a hobbit i don't know anything that you want to be small medium human is the same size as an avatar uh large human bit bulkier you know think like your bounty hunters or something like that or like a hardy warrior giant human giant ogres that sort of size small mammal medium medium primate we've got we've got all of these so these are like just the human ones right there so we've not got that much but what you can do is you edit around them how much is the gas fee for issuing nft in the sandbox um what do you mean about ish if you're buying an nft how much is the gas fee gas fee varies depending on the actual gas price 
ready so we choose the character at will just re-edit it yeah you can do that you can definitely re-edit any of these um everything that i make on here is either um i'm using one of these templates and re-editing it or i've used the modeler and created all my own things and you can do the same with all of these like just edit those you deserve more subs <laughs> hey rockstar i appreciate that i mean i've got i've got quite a few i mean i'm quite happy i i mean i say that obviously i want more people to sub to me on youtube Guys, subscribe on YouTube. Don't forget to like on your way out and maybe leave a cheeky little comment. But I don't know. I feel mint. Oh, to mint an NFT? Once again, that would depend on the gas fee at the time. But uh, the one that I minted, it wasn't that expensive. Honestly, you're probably spending it really did right it really does depend on gas fee um so right now gas fee what? is a sale happening what's going on okay so you wouldn't mint anything at this price <laughs> what oh it's gone down what the hell happened is there a sale wait what's what's happening is, are people buying stuff? Was there an app? What is going on? So yeah, this is this is high. Don't mint anything at this price. The, oh, oh, right. Hey, Dudo. Dudo, great name. Yeah, read on. Read on. You missed it. You only saw it at 938. It was over a thousand when I clicked it. Very expensive. Yeah, at that price, it is very expensive. But I would say if you, let's say, let's just say you made something like this. Let's miss, or not even that. Let's just say you made, you made an avatar similar to this. Okay, you made a human a bit like this. You would probably be listing it either as like a common character or maybe um, rare. Um, usually you would put them at like, so a common thing is something you would reckon everybody would want in your game. So something like this aquarium, actually I, I quite like the aquarium. I'm not classing that as a common item, but uh, as an example, I know exactly exactly what i can choose right is it random bits uh weapon crate here we go right this weapon crate this weapon crate although it's very beautifully done and everything like that you would most definitely put it as a common thing because a lot of people would want to place this in their game as opposed to or it could be used in many different aspects as opposed to da -da -da, uh don't very much april may yep as opposed to may where i made this gaming pc this would definitely be like an epic item you know where it's got animations it's more detailed we've got like a whole thing that happens here lots of bits and bobs on there so yeah Ooh, lots of different things right is this the guy that's oh yeah is he Perfect. Um, <laughs> eleven hundred. That's cheap. Uh, what play to earn game do you enjoy playing the most? Oh, that's a really, really good question. Okay, so I'm basing this off purely what I can actually play now. So as much as I enjoy sandbox, obviously the metaverse isn't fully out there, so I can't say, oh yeah, I've really because it's not fully it's it's not out it's it's coming out soon uh and by the way if you haven't read the article i'm gonna i'm gonna put an article out for you guys because i i did an interview uh for part of an article and i'm i'm in it so i'm just gonna push that out there because i'm super super proud of myself and and not to big myself up or anything but the the uh, journalist refers to me as a 2021 Bob Ross, which is probably one of the best, best compliments I could ever, 
ever received but it's an article on coin desk so i'm gonna link that down down below for you guys um but it's between axie infinity and maybe war riders i want to say um but i would say you could easily mint an nft for the sandbox between 10 to 40 dollars maybe maybe a little bit more it does depend on gas price so i don't want to be like this is the price it does depend on gas the price that gas is right now you're going to be spending a couple of thousand um i find your channel only today and i want to learn more how to create some creatures or things awesome you're in the right place uh, i'm actually interested in minting nfts on sandbox but ethereum costs are very expensive is it possible in the sandbox marketplace tomorrow using cross chain uh no no it's not not well not as far as i'm aware no uh as you should be <laughs> as i should be yes proud i should be proud um i love that <laughs> thanks for putting that bob ross <laughs> emote up that's amazing i'm kind of glad the gas fees are up why but anyway we're gonna get into creating so we um for anybody new here what we do on the thursdays it's one hour um officially supported by the sandbox to do these streams so it's one hour for me to show you guys all of this and what we are doing is we're creating um assets people pl things buildings and whatever for a game that we do in the game maker on tuesdays i stream for two hours every other tuesday we do the game maker so, so one tuesday we do two hours fox edit and next tuesday we do two hours game maker so everything we're making on the other tuesday streams and every thursday every thursday is always fox edit we are uh, creating items to go into that game i do take your guys's um opinions uh i ask for feedback on stuff and i also ask is there anything else you want to be included the theme is fantasy it was revolving around like a tavern it's expanded past that so what i want to create today is i want to create a dragonborn person so basically if you've ever seen any like D, &D type stuff dragonborn is a character within that um uh, but yeah why are you glad gas fees are up that's a really weird thing to be like oh i'm so happy gas is so expensive it just like but nobody wants to buy anything when gas is so expensive so what i want to do i'm kind of hoping this will work but i'm not sure and i'm going to have to make some like mad changes on it oh da, 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 da not what i want right this is going to need some mad mad edits because it's huge but this is generally what i want uh <laughs> just the head is so freaking big do you know what maybe no no do you know what we should do we should probably have it on like a large human so that's what we're going to do so we're going to do that whole thing in fact a giant human probably a giant human so what we are going to do is go back over here tavern peeps uh can i just it's not gonna let me save over it dragon born i'm gonna call him large we're gonna save gonna open that he's going to be locked so for you guys that missed it earlier i am going to quickly show you how to unlock so you go to uh your need notepad plus plus you get it totally for free from the chrome extension extension apparently i can't english and sandbox stream tavern peeps right so i'm just gonna get rid of that one and the dragonborn so i'm only left with the large what i'm going to do is create a copy i'm also going to rename it um unlocked and on the copy and the reason i do this is just because uh, in case anything goes wrong we find the vxr i know it's probably really small for you guys but um yeah if you just look down the side of where everything is it'll say vxr you'll click it it'll open this up and what we want to do is if you're doing it on a human it will have like the name of what it is so what we're going to do oh no 
we don't want to do that please please scroll back to the beginning we're going to take out just the name of what it is so it's a mammal biped giant uh giant human version 2 we're going to take that out save it close all of this then we need to find there we go large unlocks click him open him and now we have him Da, 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 and all of this is unlocked uh, you do need to make sure you lock it back up so to lock it you need to input that name back into where it was this is also another reason why it's a good idea to keep keep the original because if you need to you can go click that and double check what is the exact name even like just copy it and move it over into there and paste it in properly um that's a really good way uh to do it uh because they make a pause on all the things uh and you have to wait till they're down the car. <laughs> okay this is awesome it is possible to create for example a dog with animation after creating play with him a game uh i'm gonna try and translate that to the best of my ability so can you create an animation yes so everything that's down at this bottom bit all of this is where you would create the animation side of things i do do a lot on the animation stuff in these live streams as well as just my tutorial videos hopefully i will have the next part of my tutorial if you haven't checked that out go check that out uh, but the next part will be dealing primarily with animations and hopefully that'll be out within the next three to four days so keep an eye out on that you know ring that notification bell so you get notified when i upload brand new videos oh i'm amazing i'm so tired um but once you have uploaded so uploading it to the marketplace so click export export to marketplace everybody i have been told everybody can do this however if you are not one of the pre-approved asset artists like me whoop whoop um then you will not have it actually approved on the marketplace but to have it approved on the marketplace does not make it an NFT. You can upload things completely for free and put them into your games as well as going. This is going to be like a lot of introduction to Sandbox today. We're doing so much in introduction to Sandbox 101. Right, so you can go to the market. We do have things for sand up here. Awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you can buy those. But down here, so once you go past the cost slide slide on down and you will see these don't have a price in sand so you can actually just like press those little plus buttons and add, oh a demon look at that bad boy look at this let's give a shout out to who is the artist uh super risk big up super risk oh his eyeball is coming out of his eye that is amazing love that super risk you did amazing don't know if you're watching this but great job um but yeah you can you can just add these now the the only issue with this is yes these will be saved into your inventory you go over here go uh inventory and added so added are things that you have added into the game whether they're your own items or ones from there you can put these into a game but if that person decides to mint that nft so if super risk is like do you know what this guy is awesome everybody's gonna want him i'm going to mint it then i will not be able to use this character in a game and upload it to the metaverse i'll still have it in my inventory i'll still be able to create a game and have it in the experience side but i would not be able to upload it to the metaverse and earn from having that so if you would like to create a game using other people's assets you will need to purchase those assets if they um if they upload it if they uh mint it sorry if they mint it how long does it take in time to learn to advance level maybe like me uh i have been with the creator so basically little backstory little backstory let's let's do a backstory time i i heard about sandbox i bought a piece of land in one of their sales like i think it must have been like the moon sale like way 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 back like over a year ago 
And then I heard about, like, Fox Edit and stuff like that. So I downloaded it, heard about the Creator Fund, and I decided to apply for the Creator Fund. But um, as my... As sort of, like, my portfolio, I linked a stream that I did showing that off. Where is the head? That should have... On over. Oh, it's because head already exists. I don't want to change the name. All right, we'll change the name. Hopefully, this won't break it. So, I have been using Vox Edit for a little over a year. It has uh, added features and stuff like that since I started. Uh, so, I would say maybe a year. But you could definitely learn it much quicker. I'm just going to call it Ed One. But I do have other jobs, other things that I do. So I can't just say, oh, yeah, that's how I renamed it. I promise you, I renamed it. Why did you not change to Head One? Ah. Do you use templates a lot or do you animate custom assets? So I use the templates a lot for the human stuff. Uh, I do make my own animations from the whole unlocking process and I'll add some of my own animations to those. Um, but for everything else, I, use, I just create everything myself. Sometimes I reuse assets, which is totally fine and acceptable and i will show you what i mean by that right where are you i named you head one right i'm gonna rename them all head head one you're called head one. Oh, is it you as well right you're all called head one all right we've got head one head one head one you're all called head one don't mess me about now head one beautiful right i'm gonna place this on the head Okay, in all fairness, that head looks a little bit more reasonable on here. Um, probably need the jaw. Where's my jaw? There's my jaw. And off of the head, we're going to do jaw. Grab that bad boy. I actually feel like I don't need to change the size. Now that uh, we've put it on the, the giant human... Um, so why are gas fees up again? I have no idea. Someone tell me why gas fees are really, really high. Um, have I missed anything else? I feel like I've totally caught up with you guys. So I'm not going to concentrate on the animations right now. I'm going to delete a bunch of these animations. But we will get to this head in the correct position. feel like he needs a neck as well yeah we gotta give him a neck import where's my neck my neck someone shout if you see neck there's a neck and from the jaw we will do a neck the neck may be too large it definitely is too large One hundred percent is too large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little edit. Plus, I want this guy to look different from the actual dragon I created. Um, we'll pretty much just take this whole back bit off. Like that. A little trim. Uh, do I sell... Do you sell the things I'm creating? So currently, oh, his neck looks awful. We'll sort this. Don't worry. We'll get this sorted. I feel like he may have just needed, like, a short-ish neck. Um... 
But right now, as a pre-launch asset artist, not everybody gets to upload their assets. So I have two that are available for you guys to buy, um, which I may plug in a different stream, not this one. Um, but yeah, I have two available to buy right now. Will I mint other items? Yes, I will. There are definitely items that I will be minting and selling. But uh, for you, CLP, uh, things that I've made, one, well, this isn't 100% me. The whole aquarium I've created, this fish is actually a template I imported in, which happens to also be this, which I edited myself, and then I created all of this. Uh, the weird little alien fish over here as well. And it's got custom animations, which I did all by myself. Um, this. So she's from the template, which I edited. But the cauldron, everything that I've created here is all by me. We've got a custom animation right here. This bug goes over. She throws it in. Another little bug comes here. Like I mentioned earlier, always try to have your ending position in the same place like right there it ends in the same place that we start so it loops nicely without there being anything uh jiggy right i feel like his neck is definitely in the right place now i'm pretty happy with that neck we're gonna do his horns a little bit more we will add a nice a nice tail for him i feel like his legs really really small but we'll we'll work with it we will work with it i also don't have the color i want i'm gonna grab should we do what color should we do the dragon i do like the green but i think he should be maybe like a more bluey color Whoops, we just want a color. Uh, yeah, if you've got questions, feel free to throw them at me. I will try my hardest to answer whatever you need answering. We are just playing the colouring in game right now. One of my favourite jobs to do on here. Probably also one of the most calming aspects about this when you're just recoloring items. You're just like, yeah, let's give this a nice little color in. All right, what do we think about him being blue? I feel like his undertone as well. Let's go for, if we go for this, this is like a lighter blue. Like a slightly darker around his eyes. Oh, I like that. Like his undertone of his skin. Or should we do it even more subtle than this? I really do like the blues though. I'm a big fan of green, but let's add some of this lovely blue. Uh, am I good to understand that the smallest cube is one voxel? Yes, so um, 
where you can see where this is highlighted that is one voxel um in the game a meter is um a meter uh, voxel is 32 by 32 so 32 voxels by 32 is a meter the humans in the game are 64 so they're two meters high so when you're trying to get an idea of how large things are, usually go by what the humans are in the game. Uh, a good indication of what to, uh, to get an idea of what that is, is open up one of the templates. And if you're like, okay, knee high or hip high, that's that big. Look at the size of their hand. So you like go, oh, that's, that's the hand with the sword. But you look at the hand, you go, okay, that's about that size. So that's hand size that's how big you know a mug or something should be cup of tea a kettle all those little bits and pieces there we go that is lovely Yeah, she's it to scale. Yes, it's a very good idea to use it to scale. I don't think we used any custom colors here. It should be fairly easy for me to transfer a lot of this over the other parts of the body a whole bunch of stuff going on under here right he actually looks kind of cool need to change these bits there. Right. Um, I'm from Malaysia, still uh, new to Sandbox and Fox Edit. I really love your content, uh, by the way, keep it up. Thank you. Much love to you. Much love to you in Malaysia. Uh, I'm from Slovakia. Sorry for bad English. Don't be sorry for bad English. Your English is better than me trying to speak Slovakian, I want to say. Uh, do you mess with the mechanics in the game maker or do you just use Vox Edit? So I do um every other Tuesday is another day I stream sandbox content and every other Tuesday I do do the game maker stuff. I'm not very good at it. It's like learning together. Um there are some things I know, there's some things I'm learning and we figure it out all together. Is that the sandbox? So I'm using their software Vox Edit. Um, their metaverse is according to Coindesk article it's meant to be coming that metaverse is meant to be coming out uh, I think to land owners so if you own land I think that's who it's coming out to first um, soon and then for everyone else soon after I don't want to be held liable for giving a date and it being wrong, so I'm I'm gonna be super cryptic. Like yes, it is coming soon. But this is Vox Edit where you create voxel creations for the sandbox game. And we are making a creature called Dragonborn. 
to be a part of the game that we are creating. So we are building a game together on the sam uh, on Game Maker for the sandbox. But I ask for everybody's help and input when we create it. Because I sure as bleep bleep need it. Right, that looks pretty all right to me. All right, all right, all right. I don't really need to change too much. Just wanted to make sure we got... Oh, hello. Got that perfect. We do want to probably change the jaw line a little bit. Oh, did we miss a bit? We did. Missed a little bit. We're just colouring it in, so we've gone to the paint tool. If I wanted to make it bigger, I would use this one up here, which Restream Chat is covering every time. Right, let me move Restream Chat down to the bottom corner so you guys can actually see what I'm selecting. So I'm selecting the paint tool up here. Wait, did I do transition? I did do transition. So, uh, so the paint tool, I'm using two paints. Uh, this is the... Um, create mode so this will create voxels panda you look cute today how did the stairs end up finally <laughs> i got them half working again oh my gosh i kind of wish i just left it alone and everybody could feel claustrophobic in the tavern <laughs> that's that's kind of how i felt afterwards so now now are you creating a new creature yes i am um what i've done is i've taken the giant human i've unlocked the template so i can edit it better um if you don't unlock it hey damp squid over on d life thank you for the two ice creams and the lemon appreciate that also i don't have notifications for anywhere else so if you do follow sub whatever over on twitch and uh youtube i i appreciate you guys too and if you like comment and do all that but damp squid thank you that is lovely um really really appreciate that so but you can recolor any of the templates without needing to unlock it but if you want to do any form of edits or animations or extra animations to those then you will need to unlock them and I've shown you how to do that in this stream a couple of times. I may timestamp it, but I do have an entire video on YouTube about unlocking templates. So you can go and unlock, lo unlock those. Uh, Damp Squid is a nice name. Damp Squid is an amazing name. Some people have the best names. So I'm just like, oh, you went with that. You're a really cool person. They're just being so unique. Gotta love people's uniqueness. Appreciate the uniqueness. Do you can show how to set the borders of each object? Uh, hope you understand. Uh, okay, borders, borders, borders. Are you on about the invisible box that I tell people about? Like the collision box. So when you hover over it, there's like a white box around it. You see, see that white outline around that? That's the collision box um if that's what you're on about they've actually done a really really cool thing now on here on inspector uh oh am i gonna find it again where did it go oh collides right here you can actually turn that off so you can turn collision off in certain aspects of stuff which is amazing because i really needed that at one point but yeah for things like this you just need to make sure you trim trim whatever you're creating so um something big like this when you create an animation it puts like an invisible box around the entire thing um 
so it will go from like the furthest point to the furthest point now really unless you're going to turn collision off on all of this which i don't suggest you do purely because then if you're playing the game the avatar like the person you're playing as the avatar will be able to walk straight into that and walk through it and that's not going to be a good gaming experience to just walk through things but to um do the collision you just click this one up here trim volume and it will tighten around the widest point to the wi widest point so you trim volume and it goes from the biggest point to the biggest point so if you're making something very large i've got a really good example because i do need to edit it um let's go because i didn't i didn't listen to my own thing that i tell you guys to do is it random bits tavern interior where's the bed bed right the bed i actually made all this as one asset i really need to chop it up okay because when the when the avatar jumps on top of the bed it's jumping on top of that highest point so really i need to do like something like this uh bed post uh back backboard and then what i do is i'll click on this and i will delete absolutely everything other than the backboard post so i've made a clone so i've made it exactly the same don't have to like waste time trying to copy it or do little pieces making sure they're the exact same height as the last lot of stuff you created and you just take out all of this all of this goodness now you could just do post and post and do this separate i'm gonna keep that in because i feel like it won't look too weird trim volumes so it's going from those points save it and i'm gonna do control node and move the bed to the control node uh create a backboard move that to that i also need to go hey set to floor and unfortunately i've now got to turn it the correct way 270 move it across is it right there not quite right in the right place and then you'll do the same so off of the bed you'll make another one make it a front post and then uh take the posts out so i'm gonna show you guys this real quickly so we're gonna clone that front post and we click edit once again we're just going to pretty much just delete everything delete all of this Get rid of it get rid of it oh we don't need it oh bye bye oh no be careful not to actually delete delete stuff that you're meant to keep like that was trying to delete the post right there there we go so we've got that trim it make sure to go to your pivot tool it's hidden wait no you can just see it uh, set to floor so it centers it like that we're going to go off of this again and go front post grab the front post hold control down so you can move it 0.5 for everyone and that is the correct way right and then what we're going to do is off of the bed we're actually just going to delete the posts now on both sides just be careful not to delete anything important so we're deleting oh did we I feel like we may 
I've needed that. Wait, go back. Ah. Okay, we're gonna delete this this way. There we go. That's that's the way we delete from this side if you're making a bed. So you don't accidentally delete those other extra little bits that you gotta keep. Again, do the same. Front post all done, trim volume, make sure it's set. Go back and the bed is for oh yeah, it's on the floor. That was silly of me. Place that there. There we go. And now we've got the bed made. And that is now done. And we don't have the collision, so when they jump on the middle part, they're jumping on the bed. They can actually be on the bed. Uh, how much land do I have? How much land do I have? I have um, a few one by ones and a couple of like one by twos. That's when I've been lucky enough to get two one by ones right next to each other. Um, a few premium plots as well. They're still one by ones though. The only added benefit of having a premium is to have the premium assets that get placed on them. So I think I have about 10 or so. I may have a little bit more or a little bit less because I did sell a couple on OpenSea uh, when sand was quite low and it was a nice little profit. Uh, hopefully that, that helped you out with knowing about borders. I probably will timestamp that as well because that will be handy for you guys. Oh my gosh, how have we already spent 45 minutes? I've done nothing. I have done absolutely nothing. Oh my goodness. Spent 45 minutes talking about stuff and things. None of it helpful for you guys. Well, a lot of it helpful for you guys, but still. Let's get this guy coloured in. I'm gonna do most of him the same colour. I was gonna have him like lots of different little bits of colour. I think just having most of his parts the same. I might do just like a little design up here. Wait. Oh, this is below his neck. That did not need colouring at all. Okay, we'll do a design right there. And we'll add like oh we'll add a little darker design going across right there and down and down and that's under his you know what this is all below I feel like it doesn't matter if it's that much below. Right, let's save. You see it like a little bit. That looks good. Um, but yeah, uh, CLP, do you have any land? Do you plan on making some games and stuff? I like that. I like his green eyes. If you guys think of a different color that you want for his eyes, let me know. And let's carry on. So what I like to do for stuff like this is I like to color the whole thing in the base color and then we can work on designs and stuff like that afterwards. Now I do want him, do you want him like wearing some form of armor? So I think like a purple might be quite nice. Or even like gold, like a goldy, yellowy gold or brass armor. Let's just see. Uh, quite like that. Let's just look at what's meant to be the gold. That's very similar to that, so I do like it. That's well, maybe too orange, too yellow. There is that one. Okay, that one's all right. And the color below it is also all right. I think I'm going to go for those tones. 
Um, I think the brass colors, they, they change too much between them. So you just get rid of that. And I think just for like the front part of him around here and they like going to his neck. In fact, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to grab the create tool and we're just going to add like a neck piece, I guess you would call it. And let's just raise it up a little bit. Raise it up one more. Looks all right. Uh, yeah, thanks for a quick lesson with border collision. That is no problem. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. I'm here to help you guys. So if there's something like you really, really want to learn, like right now, then I'm always happy to be like, okay, let's change what we're doing today and let's let's just cover that instead. More than happy to do that for you guys. Um, yeah, I have some nice one by ones touching large estates like Binance. I'm waiting for land staking to earn jewels to mint assets. Amazing. Yes, it will be great. I can't wait. Literally cannot wait. Alright, and I want like his arm, I want like arm plated bits. I don't know whether it's a good idea to have it there as well, but we'll see how that goes. I think as well that we'll just sort of like color maybe there, then it covers where his arms are all the way down. And then we'll actually have like this bit be purple. There's like an undertone right there. It's like, hello, purple. Probably all of this bottom bit. Put this back. See, I feel like his back would probably have uh, plating like at the back as well. As if maybe it's sort of like hugging around him. Maybe it just sort of like fades off a little bit. As if it's sort of like gone over him, a bit like Chama. Uh I heard about Solana NFTs. Oh yeah, did you did you get in like Star Atlas stuff? Do you think a social hub can be as popular as a game? Uh if it's a good social hub, I don't see why not. I do know quite a few people planning to make social hubs though, so you may have some competition. But who knows? I'm not too sure about on a one by one. A lot of people I know that want to develop social hubs generally have estates. So they're going to have a very big place. But let's just say you want to make something for like you and your friends to hang out at. I don't see why not. Where am I from? I'm from the UK. Whoop, whoop, big up UK. Woo. Yeah, I really am tired. Um, usually I work like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Mon uh, every other Monday, like early mornings. Like I have to be up to get to work at five. Sometimes I even try and get into work a little bit earlier just because then I can leave earlier. Um, huh. 
Oh, I'm not too sure how I feel about this being symmetrical. We'll see how I make it without it being symmetrical. Um, yeah, I get to leave earlier, so I like I like being able to leave earlier. Uh, one of the the person who works the opposite days that I do got some holiday days booked, so I got asked like, "Oh, do you mind like covering?" I was like, sure, I like money, it can't be too bad, but it is, so I'm doing like her shifts as well as my morning shifts, um, so I'm very, I'm very tired right now. It's been a long time since I've had to like cover anyone. Oh, I'm not keen on how I'm doing this at all, I don't like it. Do like this though. Try to uh try to buy a barn for Miranda's today, but Gala was on uh BSC and you need E and I refuse to pay Gala. Oh Oh wait, is Miranda's doing more sale stuff? Because I thought you could just buy from having Gala in your account you could like just move gala to your account and you should should be able to do it no is that a no or did they change since i last did anything on gala Got Gala in, uh, but uh, can't move to Gala games without Eve. But if you, oh, if you have a meta, ma wait, but you've got it in that, so can you not just have, you should be able to ha um, link, link your, link your Gala account to your MetaMask and you'll be able to do it that way. Uh, because your accent I heard somewhere. Oh, I get Peaky Blinders the same speech. Wait, what? I don't think I'm where Peaky Blinder accent is. I'm I, I'm from Lincolnshire. I think the barn is the only building not sold out. Ah, okay. Wait, uh, Peaky Blind Blinders accent. It's a Brummy accent! Brum is up north! There's nothing like my accent! Oh! All northerners are gonna be mad! Think they sound like a Lincolnshire person? Whoa! You've been inadvertently just. Whoa! They won't like that. Oh my goodness. Um, I did link them after my gala disappeared. You can you think I can now send gala to gala games on Why is your gala on the like the the BSC? Like have it on your actual ETH meta side and if it if you've got your gala linked to your metamask it should automatically show up on your gala account like if it's linked it will show up on your gala account saying that's how much you've got 
at least that's what i have done but it's been a while since i bought i don't know if they've changed it it's not not hold me to the standard all right i want to do some little coloring oh no 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 No, no, I thought I'd turn that off. Go away. Thank you. Oh my gosh, how is it nine o'clock? It's already been an hour and I am going to have to go to bed because I got to be up early and I'm already tired. I tried to have a nap earlier and i got rudely like you know when like you're drifting off and you're kind of asleep but somehow still like slightly awake but like you're, you're you're about to you're about to go to sleep got rudely awoken like for five minutes and i was like okay i can go back to sleep now it'll be fine and i just could not i was so i've been tired all day that's why i'm in like such a woohoo mood sorry i thought the movie for i thought the movie from netflix peaky blinders it's fine <laughs> it's fine but i'm definitely not a brummy 100 percent not a brummy not that there's anything wrong with brummies but i think a brummy would agree that a lincolnshire accent definitely doesn't sound like a beaky blinders accent sorry yeah yeah that's what i wanted to say Let's fill this hole in. Oh yeah, we did. We base coloured everything, didn't we? Lovely. Right. I'm going to go for this because we know we need to make this arm this colour. Got it all nicely coloured. We're going to have to finish because it is that time. I have to finish. I think I'm going to have this go all the way down pretty much. Have it like different lengths. Like that. Yeah. We'll grab like the, the nice gold colour. Give it like a nice gold trim. How beautiful. How sophisticated. Oh. Like, I think half your gold, half your color. Stunning, stunning, lovely. Right, and then we will base color the rest of it, and we will finish that at a later date. Um, I think I'm fully caught up with you guys. Okay, we need to add more detail onto that 100%, but I do like it. I do. Let's make this arm match. Let's have some matchy matchy arms. And we'll do the same here where we'll have it sort of like fizzle up a little bit. And then even like down here, we'll have it go, go down a little. Then we'll have it fizzle up, up, and then down. Down. Have that all the way. Grab our cheeky little colour. A little, a little gold trim. How beautiful! Love a bit of gold trim. Love my colour. Thanks. Do you mess with Zedron? I do have a hat horse for Zedron. It uh, looked like it was going to be a good horse. I've not had the best of luck with it, but I also don't play that much and I don't do any of like the actual, I d only do the free ones. Um, and mine is a higher class horse. So unfortunately I have to enter higher class races, which is irritating because it's not as good as I hoped it would be. And the races that it's meant to be good at, um, not many free ones come up when I'm paying attention for the length of race that it's meant to be able to do. Which is highly frustrating, if you ask me. Alright, I want to base colour most of this guy. Um, 
Oh, got the hiccups. <sighs> right. Why does his base colour look like I've not put any colour on him whatsoever? Is his base colour the actual colour of it? I think it might be. That looks like much darker than the... Right, so it's a 96A4. Remember 96A4? Let's choose his arm. 96A4? Yeah, it's the same colour. What is my job if it's not a secret? Uh, I work part-time at a pub. I clean it. It is a very, very large pub. Um, good hours, good pay, more for minimum wage. I negotiated up every single time minimum wage went up and for some reason my pay stayed the same. So I was like, no, 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 no. You started me above minimum wage, so you're going to continue to pay me above minimum wage. So let's negotiate now. Um, so I get paid more for minimum wage. I get left alone, which is perfect um, because nobody's there when I first get in. And then, like, other people sort of come in and out in the morning to do, like, barrel stuff and get the pub set up and everything. Uh, and I get three cups of tea. But I am only going to be working there for another year. And then I quit. Uh, or then I will be quitting. Oh, yeah, it, that colour is the base colour. Okay. I might make his legs a little bit darker then. Just to give him a little bit... Whoops. That's not free colour. Give him a little bit of a an uplift on, like, maybe his, his legs are a little bit more tanned. I don't know. Well, we were using different colour blues for his face, so maybe we need to do that. Like, we'll add some of this, this detail to him. He does look pretty good, though, doesn't he? Oh, I like him! He looks so cool! I like him. Yeah, he looks good. So yeah, I get I get three cups of tea. Sometimes they give me cake because they have cake and it needs to be eaten. And on on the really, really good occasions, they give me pork scratchings, but since I got braces, I now can't eat pork scratchings, so I'm really annoyed. Um but yeah, three cups of tea. Beefy, he is fine. Free cake, I'm sold. <laughs> Love it. Hey, Hillary. It's been a while. How are you doing? I, oh, but yeah, it's a job's a job. So you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do to earn those pennies. And you cannot complain at free tea, more than minimum wage. They pay me for every 15 minutes I work. So if I do an extra 15 minutes, I get paid for it. And they don't question if I do do extra work. If I'm like, yeah, it was really messy. They're like, okay, then here's more money. And I'm like, great. Plus, because I'm left alone most of the time, even when other staff are in, they're like doing their thing and I'm doing mine. Um, I, I get to play like Axie Infinity on my phone. I get to check Twitter, do all that fun stuff. Plus, I get to watch YouTube while I work. And by watch YouTube, I mean have it on as background noise and listen and occasionally look over at it. Can you equip him a sword? So I can, not on here, but I can import a sword over and place it in his hands because I've unlocked him. Now, the humans... You can do that like with this. Uh, she, the, what she's holding was originally a sword that I just moved to her hand and um, I've edited it because I unlocked the asset to edit it. But for this guy, I would have to import it over and put it in his hand. However, if you create someone holding a sword, that doesn't act like an actual sword. If you want to make a sword that would be a pick up type weapon in the game and be used as a piece of equipment then you would make it separately and that would be its own asset 
Love from India. I was wondering how much we can make by creating on Vox Edit based on my experience. Okay, that is really, really hard for me to actually answer because I'm assuming you're asking based on selling the NFTs on the marketplace, in which case you could make some very good money based off of what other people have sold, based off of what I've sold. Uh, sales are done in sand, so you would have to be happy receiving sand because their marketplace is going to be like that. Now, if you're wanting to join the creator fund, you could make a couple of hundred dollars a month, really. Uh, maybe more if you're really, really good. Maybe a little bit less if you're not as good. But um, when you do create on the creator fund, they pay you for creating, but you still own what you make. So as an example, um, I, come here, let me, this, this is the last thing I'm going to do before I finish. So I go to published. Actually, you know what will be better? Uh, ready to sell, hit right, this guy. I minted this guy. This is something I created for the creator fund. So I got paid for making this. So I made him, got paid for it. He is there. He then got uh, chosen to be one of the ones to go up to be minted and put up for sale, where I then receive that amount. Um, so he is up for sale, I believe, seven point something sand. Uh, do we still have like the section for just pirates? Do we have the pirate section? Pirate collection, there we go. So if we scroll down, he's just a common one. So here we go. So he's up for 7.35. Sandbox receives the 0.35 and we got told to list at seven. So what we uh, list it at, that's the amount we get given. And then Sandbox add their own um, per, their own percentage onto that which they will receive. So if you list something at seven sand, you receive that amount. So 1500 of that for seven sand, which will obviously vary depending on price. But yeah, buy this guy, seven sand, and I'll receive that money. Um, also, we are trying to create asset-backed NFTs, but are confused about security rules over different countries. Uh, I, I don't think I'd be able to answer that. I'm not 100% sure what you're asking or how to answer that. You got to remember, like, I, I mainly, like, make content based on it tough question yeah it is a tough question i'm not too sure what do you mean by security rules like are you on about like copyright stuff because you can't like you can't you can't make copyrighted stuff if that's what you're asking uh, i'm not Try, try, try and rephrase what you're asking or ask it again in a slightly different way um, quickly because I need to finish. I've overran. But I'm really happy with what we've created here. I really like this guy. Rules regarding SEC. Was there an NFT drop by Gala Games? Maybe, but I'm not 100% sure. I did see something posted. Um, I don't know if it was like a drop or buy something, like limited. I think it may have been like a limited thing for the Spider Tanks game. Um, so... I mean, so the SEC is for like fraud stuff, right? From like, from like dangerous fraud things. Am I right? 
Securities as in bonds and traded funds. Okay, um, that's a really hard one because different countries have so many different rules. I would assume you would go off of your country's rules regarding stuff like that because that is where, like, because you are the creator. So I've created this. This is mine. I own it. Regardless of, like, I've used the sandbox software. I've used that and but it's still something i have created so it's mine so i would when selling it i would go off of the rules in the uk um selling this would be um income because i would be making money from selling it so it would be income not capital gains however i do know in the uk there's some really gray areas regarding nfts where it's kind of a little bit like they don't they've like tried to make rules but like the rules don't always make sense you can read and read and read into them uh if we add an item to his hand would it still have collision you can uh you can turn collision off so on, on inspector we've got collides here so you can turn that off um if you don't want it to have collision um but obviously bear in mind depending on what animations you do with this character you may want collisions on uh but you you could probably make it so like that would be like how it attacks so if it's holding a sword and it runs at you and you make it like do like a hitty attack then you could make that be like the damage dealing aspect because we've got like we don't have attack oh yeah we have attack right there <laughs> his head moved <gasps> so yeah his ha attack is with his hands so you could you could change that let's go back to idle whatever oh no what were we on where where was his oh wait 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 we gotta be it must be an idol surely there we go creating house with doors uh which can you can open it and close okay so with the sandbox uh doors would have to be separate and they'd have their own separate mechanics there's even a section in here for four doors right here we've got double door single door you would make a door and then what you would do instead is you would create uh da -da -da do i have one i can show if it's on i don't have one that's on the marketplace i'm waiting for it to be approved uh so let me try and find something someone's done that i can show you so what you would do is um there's a couple of ways you can go about this but you would make something like this there we go this person's done it so this was actually something that um we were asked to do for last month i'm just waiting for mine to be approved uh, which was more like architecture things so you would place a door here so you would make something like this it would have to be a minimum of three so it has to be two voxels wide so you need uh 64 for the gap um for a door to fit into it and exactly three voxels high um up to there and then have another 32 voxel square above it I say three voxels, I mean like three voxel cubes, so 32, 32, 32. Three blocks high. And then you'd place the door there. Now if you wanted it to go into a building, you would make something that I have made numerous of. I will show you the witch's cottage. So what I have made is a shell. So from if I wanted someone to enter this, I would place something by the door. You would go up to it. You would click to interact with that door and it would teleport you to a different area in the game, which would be inside the house. And you would then be able to teleport out. But I do have one on creating a whole this this house. I do have many videos do, uh, doing that. So go check that out. Uh, they are named creating the witch's cottage. So you can look at those as I create them. Now let's do my whole goodbye thingy, my bob, because I got I got I gotta go to bed, guys. I don't want to sound like an old granny. It's like it's past my bedtime.
I got to go to bed, but um, I got I got to go to bed. <laughs> Can't lie, I've got I've got work super super early, and I'm already tired. Anyway, appreciate you guys being here so much. Also, Elgato did an update for the camera, and as far as I'm aware, we have had no freezing issues. So no stupid faces of me going like uh or uh uh. uh like just randomly frozen so that's amazing um i will be back streaming hopefully over the weekend we'll be doing some axie maybe hopefully if i'm not too tired uh we'll have some videos coming out for you as well i'm a little bit behind because once again i have been working and i am tired uh otherwise i will be back monday streaming for the sandbox 6 p.m gmt utc convert that to whatever time on their socials so follow the sandbox game on all of their things to see me do vox edit there where we are creating our i'm not going to get it up because i'll have to switch screens but creating our undead band where we'll be doing some animations on making the band play uh otherwise i will be back on tuesday two hours two whole hours you have me doing vox edit where we will be doing loads more of this fun stuff uh see read on hillary dudo uh clp um yep and everybody else that is aj i see you there aj uh once again damp squid if you're over on d live appreciate you donating doing all that fun stuff uh how do i end these oh yeah follow me on all the stuff just don't follow me in real life and have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world goodbye